everyone, this is Antonio from Random Stuff and uh, this is a video where I wanted to document the issues with slow and sluggish uh, Firefox Mozilla uh, which really annoys me. Now at the moment I have fixed it so you know I I, sh I will show you what I did to make it uh, fast again. Basically is uh, resetting Firefox to um, almost to default state. Now I've got lots and lots of uh, different add-ons and plugins uh, installed and uh, if you go to uh, any pages I'm like I'm going here to Spotify and I'll go to the BBC website as well just to see how it loads uh, there you see the BBC um, it's, it's loading pretty quickly and uh, so it's not really laggy at the moment sometimes even the mouse uh, lags there is also uh, other hidden commands but the about colon support um, URL as you see there takes you to this um, basically it's a way to refresh your Firefox now this um, this about uh, colon support page um, is not accessible by going to the add-ons or uh, any of the uh, help bits there to the side of Firefox um, but you, know, you can either do try try safe mode if you believe that it's one particular plugin that has uh, caused the problem since you've installed something recently um, or you can just do the whole reset of, uh, of Firefox it creates um, uh, a folder uh, on your desktop or wherever you want to put it with all the um, historical you know bookmarks plugins uh, add-ons that you've uh, downloaded so you've got them there in case you need to um, restore it I've not had to do that before so I'm not sure how you would restore it but I'm sure it's pretty easy if you just go into uh, uh, Mozilla's uh, help section um, there is there is also um, other uh, hidden uh, uh, menus uh, pages that you can access uh, you know, I think there's one called about config as well about colon config or about dot config but that's maybe for another video the important thing is here uh, resetting and uh, as you can see there it resets everything now it creates this folder and uh, it's just slightly away see the following items were successfully imported and almost done I'll drag the folder here it is that's all the uh, data that it's uh, sort of stripped and uh, refreshed and now I've lost my uh, theme which uh, was the eagle that you cannot see there anymore and you know if I just click say for example on the add-ons uh, on this uh, refreshed reset Firefox I don't have any of my uh, previous add-ons now all the add-ons will come back the moment that I sync again with my account I do have an account and the account will sync uh, all my add-ons uh, and extensions that I love and this is one of the reasons why I love uh, Firefox because the because of the amount of extensions and uh, and things that I can do with the browser uh, Chrome is also very good. I also use Maxton, um, but uh, this is the one that I use at the moment. Skype, click to clear, click there to um, to call. Um, it's an add-on which I need to remove from the Add Remove programs, either using that or through the Control Panel or Revo Uninstaller is one of the ones that I, I do like using because it gets rid of uh, things which are uh, hidden away in the registry. Uh, so as you can see here, the options uh, you can go in here. You can make changes if you want. Here's the old folder. And then you can see slowly, slowly, all my, as it's sinking, my theme has come back. And you can see it's, it's telling me to restart now to reapply all the plugins and extensions that you see on the screen. And uh, once I restart Firefox, uh, there, there's always going to be probably a few others that are left um, there to be uh, reinstalled. But essentially, every extension comes back fresh, as if it was just installed, getting rid of all the history. I believe that's what it does. And this really does help in uh, getting rid of the sluggish behavior of, uh, of Firefox. At the moment, it's behaving pretty well. And whenever I have issues, I do this. And it just seems to fix it. Uh, let me just go forward a little bit more. And basically, we can uh, 
start thinking about restarting now Firefox so that everything comes back to the way it was more or less. There we go. Remembers the chronological order of everything. This is set like this by myself. And basically that's it. There's, uh, there's no need to uh, extend this uh, any longer. You, you get the idea. Um, I need to, uh, you know, go through all the all the add-ons that and extensions that have been added again. So it's looking pretty good, and it is back to normal speed. So I can't complain. Okay, so I hope this has helped anybody. Um, there are other videos out there similar to this, but um, I do prefer to make my own whenever I find something that I do use. Just in case I forget, I've still got it here. So if it's helped you, that's great. I appreciate, I, um, appreciate your patience in, in just going through it. And I uh, hope it works for you like it does for me. Take care. Uh, this is the donate, uh, by the way. I strongly recommend you donate to uh, Firefox. I, do, I always do when I see that uh, pop up. Even if it's just three quid, uh, I change that to English uh, and I put three pounds. You know, it's, this, it's the minimum, but still it helps um, if everybody donates, as you can see there. Um, they can continue to do a great job, uh, which they do. Thanks again, everyone. Until the next one, take care. Cheers.